As can be seen in this rotating image of the secondary structure of trypsin, this protein-cutting enzyme possesses a very round shape with one large groove along with other smaller grooves in its sides. Often, a groove present in a protein shape is where that enzyme is bound to DNA, for it is the slot into which the DNA will fit. However, being a digestive enzyme, the groove present in trypsin does not serve the purpose of binding the protein to DNA. Since trypsin assists the digestive system by hydrolyzing other proteins, its groove acts as the location where trypsin takes in other enzymes and breaks them down by chopping them up and reducing them to only a few amino acids long. As can be seen in this 3D depiction of trypsin by chain, the enzyme is made up of a single long polypeptide chain containing both alpha helices as well as beta sheets. However, trypsin inhibitor possesses two chains, one containing both alpha helices and beta sheets, and the other containing only alpha helices. Trypsinogen, trypsin's inactive proenzyme form, is similar in structure to trypsin inhibitor, for, as well, for it as well consists of two polypeptide chains, one with both alpha helices and beta sheets, and the other with only alpha helices. In the duodenum, as trypsinogen comprised of 229 amino acids activates to become trypsin, which only has 223, it loses six of its amino acids and squishes together into a single chain.